Yay, I'm going on a vacation. Well, it's time to take care of my hotel reservations. So what are the words that are helpful when we talk about hotels and accommodation? Well, that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. Hi friends, thanks for clicking. I am Neharika. Well, in today's lesson, we are going to look at some vocabulary related to hotels and accommodation. So when you are ready to check into a hotel, it's important for you to know what are the words that can be useful when you are staying in a hotel. So the very first thing that we are going to look at is the types of hotels. So when you are going on a vacation or maybe a business trip or you're just going for a one night stay, you accommodate yourself in a hotel, right? So what are the types of hotel that we have? Well, the first one is an all-inclusive resort. Now, an all-inclusive resort is a holiday resort, which includes, like the package includes all three meals. So even the breakfast is served to you and even lunch as well as the dinner. So that's like a complete package. It's an all-inclusive resort, which people usually book it for their holidays. So if you want to spend a good time with your family, this is the best place to accommodate yourself. So it's a holiday resort wherein the package includes your three meals. All right. The second type of hotel which we have is bed and breakfast. Now when you go online and you try to make a reservation or hotel reservation, you'll always see these options available. So what is bed and breakfast? Well, bed and breakfast is, of course, a lodging hotel, a lodging place where you can stay and the breakfast is also served to you. So the morning breakfast is included in that package. So that's bed and breakfast. So it's accommodation. And the breakfast is included. The third type of hotel or the third type of accommodation that we have for you is a hostel. Well, hostel is not very expensive, so it is perfect for young travelers or for backpackers. So a hostel is a set of rooms, okay? It's in a dormitory style. wherein the bathrooms or the toilets are shared and it is not a classy place but it's just perfect if you are like all boys traveling together and you do not want to spend too much on your hotel stay so a hostel is just perfect okay and as i said it's not expensive all right the next type of hotel that we have is a motel. A motel is again a lodging place which has series of rooms and usually a motel is located on very um, famous highways. So when you are traveling, probably you are on a road trip and you are really tired and exhausted and you want to take a break, you would like to stay the night in a motel. So motel is located near highways. And they have set of rooms. Uh, which are again not very good looking okay like in like a luxurious hotel you have beautiful rooms but the motel has very basic rooms with basic amenities and they are located on highways okay 
so that's a motel for you and then another type of hotel that we have is a guest house a guest house is usually a private home which is converted for guest lodging okay so like for example if I have a big huge house and I would like to convert a couple of rooms of my house into a guest house then of course it is a profitable business for me okay so I will uh, rent out the rooms as guest house for guests to stay with me okay again a guest house is not very expensive like the hotels luxurious hotels are super expensive but not a guest house so it's quite inexpensive okay so those are inexpensive rooms which are available in a private home okay so these are the types of hotels and accommodation and now let's have a look at types of rooms now when you are booking a hotel for your stay you will always have options of different types of rooms and if you're confused what exactly these rooms really mean then I'm sure this will clear your doubt the first type of room that we have is a single room a single room is perfect for one adult. So it is a basic room with one, maybe a queen size bed, which is perfect for one adult. So that's a single room. Then we have a double room. Double room is for double occupancy. Okay, so it's perfect for a couple. It usually has double bed or a king size bed. The third type of room that we have is twin sharing. Now twin sharing is a room with two single beds. Okay, so don't get confused between a double room or a twin sharing. Double room has a double bed or a king size bed, which is perfect for a couple. Whereas twin sharing is like, for example, y'all are two boys or two girls out on a trip and staying in a twin sharing room, then it, the room has two single beds. And then the last one that we have is a suite. Well, that's how you're supposed to pronounce this word. Many people do make a mistake while pronouncing this. The correct pronunciation is suite. Now we have different types of suites in hotels. We have executive suite, we have a honeymoon suite, and we have royal suite, which is like extremely luxurious and way too good. So what is a suite? Suite is set of rooms. set of different rooms in a hotel so suite has probably a living room and then it has a nice huge uh, uh, kitchen and then you also have like a nice big balcony and then you have two different rooms or probably three different rooms so it's like a house a nice big beautiful luxurious house but in a hotel so that's a suite for you so if you are on your honeymoon then I would suggest to book a nice honeymoon suite for yourself okay so these are the types of rooms that we have and now let's have a look at some more words that would be helpful for you to talk about hotels and accommodation so here are some words that will be helpful to you the first one is check-in now the first thing that you do when you enter a hotel is you walk towards the reception or the front desk to check in okay so when you go into a hotel you enter the hotel you go to a reception desk or the front desk and then you say that hey i have a reservation in the name of niharika and i would like to check in right now okay so that's the check-in then we have mini bar now you go to your hotel room 
and you spot a mini bar. Mini bar is a small refrigerator with tiny bottles of alcohol and some snacks as well. Now make sure that you look at the rate card before using these bottles or snacks because they are quite expensive. If you go to a grocery store, probably that's not the price what the hotel rates are. So make sure you be careful before using stuff out of that mini bar. So mini bar is a small refrigerator. Okay, then we have room service. Now what's room service? Room service is where you can call and you can order for food to your room. That's so cool. That's amazing, right? You do not have to take that effort to go down to a restaurant and go eat. You can just call room service and you can order for your food. So that's room service for you. You can order food to your room. And then we have housekeeping. Housekeeping is uh, cleaning stuff. So if you want um, your room to be cleaned, you want your bed to be made, then the housekeeping people who would help you to do that. So if you are uh, wanting to see your room nice and clean, then you can dial for housekeeping stuff. And then we also have safe. Now safe is something which you will find it in the closet, in the wardrobe of a hotel room. Okay, it's a small safety locker. So if you are carrying a lot of money, or if you are carrying, a, um, of course, your passports, which is also a very important document, or probably a lot of jewelry, and you would like to keep it safe, then you can use uh, the service that the hotel provides which is uh, called as a safe okay so it's a safety locker now remember that not all rooms or not all hotels provide these things so you have to check before making reservations then we have different amenities okay now different amenities include um, a spa or a swimming pool in the hotel or laundry service okay so these are the different amenities that the hotels provide usually when you make a reservation online these amenities are listed okay so like whether the hotel has a pool whether the hotel has a gym or if the hotel has uh, a spa or there are various things even the internet uh, connection or the internet access which is Wi-Fi Okay, so these are the different amenities that you can talk about. And then the last thing that you do is, you had a wonderful stay and now it's time to check out. So check out is that you pack your bags and then you leave your room and you head towards the reception or the front desk for a checkout. So check out is basically when you are leaving. So, this is the time when you will pay for your stay. Now it really depends. Nowadays hotels also take uh, payments at the check-in time. But uh, if you have any other more expenses that need to be paid off, then you would do that at the checkout time. Okay, so these are the most common words that are related to hotels and accommodation. So the next time you are staying in a hotel, hope this lesson comes to your mind and you do use these words in your vocabulary. I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Till then, you take care.